Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been here, I've had a lot of crazy stuff going on, but today we're going to just do a uh, review of some new things that I've gotten. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put my hair back and then we can talk a little bit more about what we're going to be reviewing today. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my hair put up and out of the way. So now we're going to talk about some of the products that we're going to be reviewing today. So today we're going to be trying out the new Urban Decay Stay Naked um, Weightless Liquid Foundation. It's supposed to be up for 24 hours. Um, so we'll see how the how the formula is and if it's really any good. Uh, I know Jeffree Star did a video about this and it was like 24 hours and it looked really, really good. So I wanted to try it. Um, and then also the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. Both of mine are in shade 20NN. If you guys can see that, maybe. Oh, kind of, it's a little blurry. But both of them are in that shade. And next, we'll be trying out the new Urban Decay Optical Illusion um, Complexion Primer. Um, it's supposed to fill your pores. It's supposed to make your skin look really nice. Uh, sorry about the lighting thing there. Whatever. And then next, we'll be reviewing these amazing lipsticks. Um, I'd actually never heard of this brand. I believe it's the Pure brand. It's Pure X Barbie. We'll see if we can get it to, yeah, Pure X Barbie. These lipsticks are so cool. Um, when you want to use it, because you can see like, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't open like that. Well, there's a little button here at the top and you just click it, it comes out and there it is, which I think is super cool. The packaging is so amazing, super glittery. I love everything about this product. Um, so we'll be trying those out today. And for the big reveal, I guess, is what we're gonna call it, um, I'm gonna be doing a look with the new Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Um, I absolutely love this palette. Um, after, um, we'll be, here it is open. Looks beautiful. Um, I've already swatched a few of the colors just, you know, because I was too impatient to wait to do my video, but um, it's beautiful. The packaging is amazing. Um, big, beautiful mirror. Uh, really good if you're in a pinch, you don't have a big mirror with you. Um, the colors are very pigmented. Um, don't really have a smell, kind of smell chemically, which, you know, that's, that's eyeshadow for you. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get right on into this. I'm gonna go ahead and do my moisturizing, which you guys know that I like to do before I do my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, now that my face is all moisturized, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the uh, Urban Decay Primer. And we'll just, oh, well that comes out a little weird. I'm just gonna kind of put it on my face. Get a little bit more. I got a big face, so gotta have a lot of product. And I'm just going to take my fingers and rub this in in an upward motion. Ooh. My wig's coming up. That's not good. So now that that primer is all uh, soaked into my skin. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the foundation. So I recommend using a wet sponge for this kind. Um, just kind of put it on my sponge and then I'm just gonna start blending it in. Okay, now that I've got everything blended in, um, so far I really like the way this foundation looks on my skin. Um, it's not too heavy, it's actually really, really light. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer. And I will say I opened this just a second ago 
And look at this. It's like a weird foot. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and take this and put it underneath my eyes. Wow. I'm going to dip back in there and get a little bit more. Kind of bring it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take it on my nose and on my forehead and on my cupid's bow. And now I'm just going to take my beauty blender that has been wet and blend this in. So if you guys noticed, um, I'm not wearing my wig anymore. Uh, it kept falling off, so I just kind of decided to take it off. It was kind of getting in the way, so oh well. I've got it all blended in. Um, it's really, really, like, they weren't kidding when they said it was full coverage. Like, this completely took away all my redness that's underneath my eyes. I know I look like a ghost, and the camera's having a really hard time focusing on my face. So we're going to go ahead and add some bronzer and some setting powder. And I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer in the shade Rosewood. And I'll just be using my Airspun Loose Face Powder, which you can get at Walmart for super cheap. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my face, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my bronzer and my set on, so I'm going to go ahead and just buff that out a little more with my blending brush, just to make sure I got it all. And now we're, I'm going to move to eyebrows. So since my wig is blonde, I'm going to make my eyebrows blonde, even though my hair is dark. Um, Let's see if I can find my brush. I'm going to take my eyebrow brush, get it a little wet. I just do with my mouth. I wash these like every time I use them, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And I'm just going to dip it on in there, make sure it's nice and coated and then just start to draw my eyebrow. If you guys notice, I have no eyebrow right here, and then I have like a little bit of eyebrow here. Uh, my eyebrows don't actually grow in all the way because I decided it was gonna be a great idea to shave my eyebrows off, and then they didn't grow back all the way. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing them on. I bring it out just enough to make a nice um, point and then I just kind of fill it in from there. And I go down a little bit towards the front just to make sure it's all even. And then I bring it down just a little bit more. And I actually don't fill in my entire eyebrow, I just do the ends. Gives it more of a natural feel, if you get what I mean. Um, I just prefer my eyebrows that way, some people don't. I just prefer them this way. And then I'll just go ahead and do it on the other side as well. And always remember your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. If you can get them to be twins, good for you. And I applaud you. But they're sisters, not twins. All right, and my eyebrows are done for the most part. Now, what I like to do is I like to take whatever concealer that I'm using with a flat brush like this, not this, this. And I'll just take the concealer, kind of pull it out a little bit, take just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. So just kind of like do, 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 real easy. And then I take it from the bottom and I just kind of dab it like this all the way underneath the brow. And then I just blend it down. This creates that sharp look that a lot of people really like. Um, and I prefer it this way too. It also helps when you're wanting to uh, put like eyeshadow underneath your eyebrows 
to kind of highlight them a little more. This is also a really good technique if you make one side too thick than the other, which I always have that problem. It, I'm, I'm heavy handed, so when sometimes when I do my right eyebrow, it looks absolutely stunning, and then the other one, I sometimes get too fat, so then I can just take my concealer and kind of fix that problem. But yeah, I just bring it down and kind of blend it out. And I'll do the same on the other side. And so I can notice just looking at my eyebrows that the top of this eyebrow isn't as thick as this eyebrow. So I'm going to go back with my brush and just kind of fix that. Just to kind of make them appear similar. And it looks like here at the bottom too. All right, and now it's time for eyeshadow. So like I said before, we're gonna be using the Jawbreaker palette. I'm gonna be doing a fun summer look. So I'm going to go in with a lot of these pinks and purples and blues. Um, and I'll show you guys. Um, I know some of them have very interesting names, so I'll kind of bleep those words out or I just won't say them at all. I'll just point at the palette. So I'm going to take my smaller blending brush right here, make sure it's nice and clean, kind of brush it against my pants. And we're gonna go in with the shade Brain Freeze, which is this beautiful blue right here. Oh, that was a lot of fallout. And then I'm just gonna take it right here and do the crease. What I really like about Jeffree Star's eyeshadows is they're very, very blendable because some eyeshadow palettes that I've had before, you can't blend them for anything and they always come out funky colored. But that's what I love about Jeffree Star's quality of his products. They are absolutely amazing. So I've got the blue down. now. What I'm, this is going to look a little weird and it's going to look a little messy, but I'm going to take soaked and put it right underneath that crease. Just like this. And blend it upwards. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my foundation, or not my foundation, my concealer, and I'm going to take this small curved brush and I'm gonna put some, some concealer on it, just like this, and I'm going to cut that crease, just like this. This gives your eyeshadow a nice cut look so you can add other colors too. Get a little bit more.
Now I'm going to take that flat brush and bring that down just to make it a little more smooth. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with my smaller brush, if I can find it, this brush right here. And I'm going to go back to my palette and I'm going to use the shade Bubblegum, which is this beautiful pink color here. And I'm going to put that right where we put that concealer. We're just gonna pack that in very nice. Just like that. Now I'm going to take the shade Bite Me, which is this darker purple with the glitter, and I'm gonna put this in the corner. Just like that. And bring it up just a little bit. Like that. And then I'm gonna take this purple color and bring it underneath. Ooh, stem eye. Now I'm gonna take the shade Cotton Candy and we're gonna put it over that pink. These pigments are absolutely stunning. Now I'm gonna take the shade Snack, which is a lighter pink color right here, and I'm gonna put that in the corner of my eyes and kind of bring it out a little bit, just to kind of soften this. Bring it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna take that purple again and continue it underneath. So I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished the other eye and put some mascara on. The mascara that I used today is the Tartist um, mascara. This one is my absolute favorite. Um, it's the only one that I really prefer to use. It's the only one that gives me that look that I want. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and finish the face and then the next step will be lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some blush and I'm going to take my blush brush. It is the Morphe M581 brush and got some stuff on it. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe blush palette. It's got all of these different shades. Um, we're gonna be using these for today um, right here and just a little bit and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it on. Bring 
it up just a little bit. All right, and now we're gonna put on some highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Siberian Gold palette, or highlighting palette, and I'm just gonna take my Morphe brush, which is the M438, just kind of circle on there, tap it a little bit, and then just pop on my highlight. It's a really pretty gold. Um, I really enjoy this color, especially for summertime. It gives you that summer sun-kissed glow. Uh, put that on, I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow. Need a little more. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get in with our lipsticks. So the two shades of lipstick that I have on me, um, they were sold out of the other one. Um, but I have Inspire and Classic, and I'll show you what both of those look like. Now, y'all, you're getting ready to be shook because these are stunning. And I'll show you how I opened it again. You just press the button, it pops out, you pull it out, and that's what the tube looks like. It says Pure X Barbie all around it. And now, look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, that is amazing. The whole lipstick is just covered in glitter. But that's what this one looks like. And again, this one is Inspire. It's more of a purple. Um, now the next one is the Classic. And this is what it looks like. It's more of a pinky nude color. Sorry, that was my cat. But that's what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on. And I'm gonna use my mirror to apply it. And that's what it looks like on. I will say this lipstick is really hard to put on. Um, I'm not very happy with it. Um, it also is bleeding a lot. All right, so this is what the lipstick looks like after I spent a million years trying to fix it. Um, it's really pretty on, but it is dry. Like my lips, are very very dry right now I don't like the way they feel right now um, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to eyelashes and liner okay so now that everything is all put together um, let's go ahead and dive into the review so I guess we'll go ahead and start with the foundation and the concealer um, I will say this stuff is amazing <laughs> Jeffree Star wasn't lying when he said it was perfect um, the foundation and the concealer both feel very, very light, uh, very, very nice on the skin, very moisturizing. Um, my face feels light, it feels soft, and that's a really nice thing. I have really oily skin, so it's really nice to have a foundation and a concealer that's not dripping off my face. Um, and then I guess we'll move on to the palette. Um, I adore this palette. 
I love all of the beautiful colors. Oh, look, you can see my light. <laughs> but I really enjoyed all these colors. The names are absolutely hilarious, and the blending of the colors works really, really light, nice. Um, for the price, it's definitely worth it. Um, now, I'm sure you all have noticed that I don't have that red lipstick on anymore. Well, after I stopped the video for a minute, um, I, you know, I had that dark lipstick on, because I didn't really care for the first color, well, I started to have allergic reaction to it, and that's not cool. Um, the packaging, absolutely beautiful. The concept, it's cute. I like it. This is a really interesting product. This is a no-go, for me at least. Um, I'm not going to recommend this to anybody if you have really sensitive skin like I do. Um, I've never in my life have had a lipstick give me an allergic reaction. If you can notice right here on my lip, it's all swollen and it's very, very red. Um, yeah, that's not cool. Um, pure or whatever you are, check your formulas. You might want to rethink this. Um, but anyway, other than that, this is the only negative thing I have to say. Um, I loved the primer as well. Um, it was a little weird when it came out. I thought like, ooh, that doesn't look right. But it kind of felt like sunscreen going on my face, which was kind of nice. Um, it really filled in my pores, which I have a lot of pores and I'm sure everybody else does. I know lots of people that have struggle with pore issues. If you have those issues, definitely get this. Um, this is the miniature, like the mini one that was like $12. Um, not super expensive, a little bit of it goes a long way. So this could probably last you a couple months unless you're like me and you wear makeup every day, but you know, whatever. But yeah, um, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me today and watching me do my makeup. And um, I hope um, to see you guys in the next video. Um, at the end of this video, I'll be having a montage of the look so I hope you guys enjoy that too. So uh, thanks again so much. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.